Yo, yo, yo! We're back at it. New. So, what's new to the tank? Lots has happened since I last made an update video. Uh, this guy right here is a hairy mushroom, I guess. Green hairy mushroom. Yeah, he's new. He's uh, usually three times the size. He's still closed up right now because the lights just cut on. But I'm going to go ahead and do this update video anyways. Uh, there's a second head right there. Swoop to whoop. All right. And uh, these pretty bland zoas are growing really fast, really good. I just want to fill up the upper half of the tank. Uh, rest of the tank is doing great. Cherry Red Blast, though, is doing great. It's got three, three solid heads, I think. Four heads, they're growing. Coming back to it. Uh, lighting quality is a lot better in this video because I actually have my Evo lighting on here just for the video. I have uh, the other guy down there, so this will work. Uh, my only issue with the tank lately, for the 10 gallon at least, has been my Rainbow Aiken. He was alive and thriving, but the last uh, two or three days he's been having some troubles opening. So I actually changed the lighting on the HD Prime that I have down there to more of a bluish tint where I had my white set to 8 or 9, but I bumped it back up to 17 for 14 watts total. It's been doing better now. This is a one day post light adjustment, so it's doing good. Uh, this guy right here is doing lovely. As always, he's grown really big. Yesterday, I actually had a few stupid things happen to me in my tank. If you look right here, center of the screen, that's where I dropped my magnet cleaner on him and it actually crushed him into his uh, whatever his calcium body and it freaking chipped off and it was just like a gaping hole there so he, he closed himself back up should be good but uh, over here my hammer I actually saw the mouth for the first time actually you guys can see it too he's doing great right there in the center so I'm really excited for this guy to grow in and we'll see which one the clownfish actually hosts first, either the hammer or the frog spawn. My mushrooms up here, still waiting for this guy to split. Uh, but he's growing well, he's on and off. I think he just had a lighting issue in the last week as well. My other two shrooms, the one right here, I was having issues. These guys back here, these pallies, just general pallies, nothing fancy, were having light issues as well. So everything's starting to bounce back from my stupidity of trying to go blue. But yeah, that's the tank here. This guy's uh, leather finger is doing well. You see his feeders are starting to come out. Again, the light's only been on for 30, 40 minutes. So corals are still opening up. And I just recently adjusted them for daylight saving. So they're still not used to this hour early light. But all right, let me show you guys the five gallon. And then uh, we'll get some uh, future info. Alright, so in this uh, five gallon, actually, well, let me get these guys before they close up. I uh, added three new snails down here, or hermits, uh, that are more, I don't know the name of them, but they're prone to eating here. I'll do my local fish store through them my way. They're very kind to do that. But um, these guys, I think I have about 14 heads now. 12, I count at least 12 solid size heads. So my plan with this is tonight to hopefully frag these off, if not in one big piece, then in probably three or four groups of two, and then uh, give two to my friend, keep two to myself, or transition a lot up, it just depends. I just don't want to introduce this green hair algae into my 10 gallon, but I am planning to move all of my corals in here, which is just these pallies right here. And then the shrewdness in the back over there, you can see him just hanging off the edge. Um, and the reason for that is, uh, where is my damn fish? It was a mystery. I hadn't seen the sucker for two days. Two days, people. Two days. Oh, well, I guess I have these corals down here too, but whatever. Yeah, those guys are a lost cause. Two days. Where did my fish go? Y'all want to take a guess? The dude jumped. Somehow. I don't know. 
Poor little guy, peeps. Tears were shed. Tears were shed for my little dude. My tail spot blenny. Just found him all dried up and withered. Rest in peace, my man. Rest in peace. So in the span of one day, I found out that my tail spot blenny jumped out and had died. I dropped my magnet cleaner on my frog spawn and injured it. And then uh, it was noticed that, let's see if we can find them today, but I have some bristle worms in here. And they're not the bad kind. They're just really small, really, really tiny right now. And they're white. And I got them more than likely. The only new thing I introduced into my tank was the mushroom. So, with that said, and those series of unfortunate events, my future plans for the five gallon, I'm breaking it down because the only reason I had it running up still was so I didn't have three fish in here because I felt bad for the guys. But now that the blenny's gone, I'm going to break down the five gallon and actually probably use it as a refugium for the uh, new coral that I'm going to be getting hopefully this weekend. That's uh, new things number two. Uh, they're all going to be being purchased for the five or the ten gallon. I'm going to try and get some SPS up here. I'm not going to be changing my lighting settings on the, the HD Prime. I'm just going to be setting the uh, SPS further up the rock and we'll see how they do. Um, and then uh, like right now I'm looking to green bird's nest and orange bird's nest. And then I think it was a uh, orange Samacora. No, not a Samacora. Orange uh, Montipora. No, I can't remember what I bid on, but we'll see what I get. Um, besides that, uh, trying to shoot for a torch, hopefully. We'll get something in the back left or the back right, you know, where the sand beds are. Uh, if not, oh, oh, yes, random thought. Series of unfortunate event number like four. Uh, my WP-10 wave maker broke sometime last week. And I feel like that's why this guy's not opening up. And that guy's not having a blast either because this guy probably likes higher flow. And I have a replacement that I tried to hook up, but it's running like the lowest setting on that wave maker is 500 or something out, uh, gallons per hour. The one I have set down there in the five gallon is 245 constant stream. So it's not really a wave maker. So I don't want to put it in here and just blow the heck out of everything. But uh, right now, I mean, for an hour in on this lighting, everything seems happy. Um, he's definitely. The Rainbow Acan is definitely adjusting to the new lighting. I mean, the new water flow and the new lighting is helping it bounce back too. So, overall, happy with this tank. Um, we'll be adding more. And uh, hopefully I get a video up to you guys. Oh, there's this son of a gun. Look, you can see him. Check it out. Check this, check this, check this. You see him in the black hole center of the screen? See him? Yeah, he's a sucker. I hate you so much, man. I hate you so much. Look at that. Yeah, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. I tried to suck him up the other day, but it didn't really work. Man, that dude was getting long. Anywho, for those of you who don't know bristle worms, look into them. Some of them are okay for the tank. If they're long and fat, they're bad, but can't really tell until they grow up. Um, they feed off of the excess food that you feed so if you're overfeeding you'll get more bristle worms so don't overfeed your tanks and even if you do have bristle worms it's not the end of the world they're not going to do anything besides maybe eat a shrimp or two um but they do stir up your sand bed once they get big enough but in a 10 gallon i really don't really don't need to be dealing with them so we'll see if i can get rid of them i doubt i can but you know i'm about to introduce a whole lot of new corals and i did dip this coral so kind of stupid but We'll see if these new corals introduce anything new to my tank too. If they do, then fingers crossed it's nothing horrible. But, alright peeps, that's about all I got. Thanks for tuning in and I'll keep you guys posted. Y'all have a good one.